Hello and welcome to this episode of No Blasters with me, Karen Bartlett. Today's guests are from the Q Radio breakfast team. We've got Andrew Ryan, we've got Declan Wilson, a great time. Before we get into uh, our guests, um, let's uh, let's uh, talk about a few things that need talking about. So firstly, come see us do a No Blasters live event in the Mandela Hall at Queen's Student Union uh, on 1st of October this year. We will have special guests. We will have FIFA on the big screen. We will have a big-ass raffle. All the things you come to expect from a No Blasters live event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely get your tickets. The link is in the description and whatever. Come see that. It's going to be a fucking great time. It's the only No Blasters live event of this year, so definitely get down there. We're about, well, on the day of this recording, we've sold quite a lot of tickets, so fucking get there, is what I'm saying. Uh, so that's going to be great. No Blasters live in the Mandela Hall, 1st of October. Do it now. Also, today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN. This is the very best in online protection. This is like... This is like quadruple bagging it, right? This is like, you're going online, you want to watch a wee bit of American Netflix. You're in America, you want to watch a wee bit of, uh, were we even, UK, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Netflix, these islands, Netflix. You can do it with NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network. This means that basically when you go online, you click it on and it protects you. It protects your search history. It protects anything that you're doing online antiviral and all that it's great so um you should definitely get over there if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash no blasters you will get an incredible discount on a subscription and a free gift this is a great time to use nordvpn it's a good thing if you're a comedian you're away on a wee tour you want to just watch whatever you want to see and whatever you, you, do, you don't want somebody in the holiday and in Reading to know what you're looking at, you know what I mean? So you just NordVPN it and you're away. It's great. So please use NordVPN. Use our, our uh, forward slash no blasters and get there. Uh, and it's a great time. NordVPN, one of our OG sponsors. We love them. They love us. Today's episode, lastly, also sponsored by the greatest little eater you've ever seen in your life, Joxer. Joxer has locations in Hollywood, Bangor, and now in Royal Hillsborough. Uh, it's Hillsborough. Um, I was in the Hillsborough one uh, yesterday, getting a wee cheeky coffee and a 15, actually two days ago. What a great time. Um, it's lovely. It's nice decor, different menu, different fucking menu. There's a couple of wee dirties on there. I'm going to have to check out all different things. Mental. Um, it's the home of chicken and waffles. Joxer opens from 9 until 4 every day. It opens late Thursday through Sunday from 5 until late. If you're going to book a late table, it's a different din- dinner menu. The one in Bangor, by the way, for dinner. Exquisite. Uh, use the resdiary.com uh, as a way of booking those tables. Uh, or you can phone up and book them. It's a great place. Joxer loves us. We love them. Do you know where it was this morning? Fucking, look at that. Joxer. Getting a wee cheeky skinny latte because I'm watching my figure because nobody else will. So that's where we're at. Those are our sponsors for today. Let's get stuck into this episode. Andrew, Daggy, talk to me. <laughs> that's some read. Oh, mate, I know. You, you call it a read. I'm reading fuck all. Do you know what I'm doing? Reading the back of my own eyelids, because yeah. that's where all that information is, flying around. I was expecting there'd be like a cue card or a screen or something. No. I, 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 I actually looked over to see, was there like a, you know what, a running commentary? Was there a piece coming up? Do you, know what there, do you know what there is? A lonely childhood. That's what there is. Sitting hey. just remembering shit. Hey. Yeah. We're, all, we're all lonely. <laughs> hey. Hey. Remember that? There's Even no one as lonely as me. <laughs> do you ever hear the... Uh, do you ever hear when you're, you, you're bound to hear this in pop songs a lot when you're playing them, the phrase, lonely in a crowd, oh my God. Oh that, is one of the, that is one of the worst lyrics that people use are, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Oh, fuck, fuck off. Up. <laughs> what, what's your, what's a song? I heard someone say they were lonely in their marriage. <laughs> In a song? It wasn't me, but it wasn't me. In a song? I think it was my mother who said that. <laughs> <laughs> what, um... What's the, what's like a what's a song that you sort of feel that you have to play sometimes that you loathe? Well, well, <laughs> we start with tell this? him you tell him, Decky. Funny you should say Kicked that. Off we oh, really? literally on the day of this recording finished the show, but Andrew started a what would you say a democracy with the listeners? Oh, I'd do a poll. 
Right. At the minute, we're flat out playing Busted and Jonas Brothers Year 3000. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's, it's a good track. Oh, the Jonas Brothers one? Do you know the 2.0 one? Their yeah, re-released one? Yeah. And we actually Busted had... aren't on it though, are they? They are, no. That's oh, they're, they're in it. They're oh, all, right, okay. It's a re-recorded album, album, but... Oh, hold on, right. So, is this not 3.0 then? Because is there, there's Busted... And then Jonas Brothers, and now is this a... They're, they're sort of like doing a collaboration with loads of different artists on their somebody's, new album, so... You could say somebody's busted all over the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> anyway. So, we're playing their tracks flat out at the minute, but Andrew, uh, we went to play it this morning, and he told me to stop the music, and we're never, <laughs> ever playing busted stop it after five, again I said, no, I'm not the having it. And I said, right, I'm fed up with it. Now, don't get me wrong, we interviewed Busted last week, didn't we? Do you know what he said to Charlie from Busted? He went... No, Charlie, I was out socialising the other day and I got a complaint and we play too much fucking busted. <laughs> so I fucking stopped it. I put oh the stop to it, Charlie, and he was like, oh, thanks, man. It was like, not great. Oh, like, mate. Do you remember no, no, I complimented in... him and then I shot on him. Like. Do you remember he was in that other that emo band called Fight Star? No. Actually, he remember was them? in that for about 10 minutes, that's right. Yeah, yeah do you remember them? I, I, liked, I liked some of their... Do you know, they, they were on this weird Channel 4 show. They were on this weird Channel 4 show that was... Um, do you know what it felt like? Do you, do you know every now and again, Channel Four or like ITV will try like a, like a Noel's House Party type show. Yes. Like a like a magazine show on like a Friday night, and then this one was meant to be all cool and all. Oh, we've got comedians on doing five. We've got chat from these celebrities, and we've got a house band. And the house band on the first episode was Fight Star, and they just, as much as I enjoy emo music. It just wasn't the vibe of this party. The part like they should have had like fucking M people on it or something. Do you know what I mean? Lighthouse and, family. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And instead, you're getting this fucking dun 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 dun, dun and people are just going because <laughs> like, they've been they've been told to look like they're having a good time, but they're not. Oh, it was so rare. Like I can't remember what you call that show, but it was shit. But well, um, we yeah, uh, we put a poll out this morning to the listeners, didn't we? Oh jeez. So I just was like, I was like, I'm not happy. This bus has been played too many times. We've ta- Tom Grennan. I've done a complaint about Tom Grennan being played. Now don't get me wrong, they're all really good artists. I'm not saying they're not bad artists, but when you're listening to it every day, yeah, yeah, no, I, I like, would, I would do. But my don't get me wrong, like I'd happily go see them live. Yeah, I think they're very good. It's just uh, I was saying, let's mix it up. Let's get a bit of pulp in, a bit of Joy Division. <laughs> let's get a bit of pulp. You know what I mean? Bit, of, bit, of, bit of James. The, the kind of bit person of, that actually bit of James. <laughs> to the artist. We're uh, sick of playing your music. I know, yeah, but that's good. That's but good we'll, though. we'll still support you. In a Get way. a bit of Buy James. tickets, go see them in the SSE. What about, uh, what about, um, What's your thoughts on like Taylor Swift? She must get a lot of our time. No, I no? talked about Taylor Swift recently. Actually, I said where I appreciate Taylor Swift as an artist and I appreciate her music, so overrated. Overrated? That's going to yeah, be so Declan, unpopular Declan, Swiftie fans. Like, like she is good. But you think she's overrated, totally. and that's a fair point. Like, like I, I don't have an opinion on it really. Like, I don't, I don't understand this madness of like people going, oh, and pay like a thousand pound or yeah, whatever sure. for a ticket. But people were doing that in the nineties for take that. I know, I know but t- sorry, but take that though. I'm, am I, am I saying I? Would, what are you on about? Hold on, take that with Robbie Williams in it. All yes. five of them. I'd pay a grand for that. Would you? I would, I would pay a grand. Yeah, I went to Westlife and walked out. Westlife, oh, mate, I, I want to go. Do you know what I want? I want to go. Do you know what I want? I want to go see Take That, <laughs> all five of them. Lulu comes out for Relight My Fire or whatever. She's dead, mate. Um, or, or, she died. Or, or, or what do you Did call you? it? No, she's not. She's definitely still alive. She's dead, isn't she? Definitely nah. still alive. Isn't no, she? She's definitely alive, yeah. Is Lulu dead? Alive? Her career is. Can you Google it? She, she died, um, mate. No, nah, she's definitely still she alive. She's dead, mate. No. Nah, Proper nah. dead. Wasn't it Relight My Fire she did with them? Yeah. Relight My Fire. She's definitely she, oh, she's still alive. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking of Angela Lansbury. No, so the, no um, we don't have Lulu on the show next I know, week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <you're dead. laughs> like she comes out for that, and then the uh, a, a choir, a full choir, comes out for Never Forget. Thousand pounds, no problem. I'd right. pay a grand for. Who would you pay a grand for, Decky? Who would I pay a grand for? See, I've seen Metallica multiple <gasps> times, but I love Metallica. Metallica I'm a secret brilliant. metalhead. Like, oh, I love Metallica. Metallica. Are brilliant. A grand though. So, so would you pay a grand for him? Tasty. No, do you know who I'd pay a million for if I had it? Queen live with oh, Freddie Mercury. Oh, Freddie. To see him perform. Well, that's not going to happen. I know. Um, well, he is certifiably dead. He's yeah, dead. yeah. He's, He's dead, dead, fully he? dead. Can you Google that? Can you, can you Google that one as well? <laughs> just yeah. Just double check. Just to double check. Um, 91, yep, 100%. I'm trying to think though, if we're, going, if we're going for the living acts, right? A grand. Now, the we're doing a thing, now, the we're doing a thing in Las Vegas where you could pay about a grand or two grand. I think it might have been like 18. It was about $2,000. So what's that, about £1,500? You could sit on the stage with Sting. 
I would have done that if I didn't have to pay so for you, flights. Like you literally just walked just on a couple of chairs at the side. Kind you're of you're like. you're on the stage with him. Say again, stings a bit, man. Like, I don't fucking don't come no. on, don't come on, no blasters and push the <laughs> I push the fucking nuclear button. Is he the guy that's into the mad sex? Apparently. Tantric sex. What's that? Wild. What's that? Choking and like, whipping and stuff. No, no, ta- tantra. <laughs> is that whip, whipping? Ta- tantra like? is like. I sound weird because I'm calling it tantra, but that is what it's called. Tantra is like. It's not like a it's like, it's like breathing like a, and all, all right. and like and like not jizzing for like a day, and like you know that you 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 edge yourself constantly. You basically keep a route for as long as you can, but like actually go. Would you be life, going out shopping? And actually stuff go with- about your life, but like. Have your partner with you, so maybe you are in Tesco, and she'll go. Do we need beans? And you go, I like beans. And then like, <laughs> and that's tantra. And so you, then eventually, you're aroused for a day. Ev- eventually, you'll wreck a carpet somewhere. Like that's that's what it is. <laughs> apparently, like that's, you just use beans. You know like, what I mean? <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking beans. You know what I mean? Oh, do you want my super? So, like, so you I, pay a grand for take that. You pay a grand. I'd for pay more clean. than a grand to sit on a stage with thing. I'd pay two grand for it. Oh wow! Do you know? Do you know who I would actually pay money for? Celine Dion. Would you? Hundred percent. For the Titanic song alone, you'd probably get a grand. She's class. She's still doing it. I think. She, I think Wouldn't she be is, mad. Funny now, she still do it. She's, like. she's very ill. She's old. She's ill. Oh, she's ill. Yeah, and no, I, don't, I don't mean like in a sort of ice cube sort of way. I mean actually <laughs> unwell. Men- yeah, she's mentally she, or physically. Not like ter- terminally ill. Like. Is she? Yeah. Oh. See, my sad. wife, Kelly, she's seen yeah. her in New York just before COVID. And when right. they flew back, we went into lockdown. And that was the last gig Celine Dion played. Oh, she, wow. oh, she very she sick. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, she it's like, I think I think she still has a bit of time. Like, I'm not her doctor, so I shouldn't say, but she still has time or whatever. Oh, but I mean, it's like, it's like a, an sad. illness that, that, that kills you eventually. But it'll go on. <laughs> oh, oh, what? That's funny. Um... <laughs> You can well, see why I sweat every morning yeah. on the record. <laughs> her, heart, her heart will go on. <laughs> Do you know something? Here's here's a wee secret about me, right? See, when I was... I See, before emo and music like that was a thing, I was being predisposed to it by pop music, right? Because... See, if you're, if, you, if you're born like 85, 86, 87, you're definitely getting hit with a lot... And maybe up as far as 90, you're getting hit with a lot of... A lot of like have feelings type music mm. right so like Celine Dion do you remember that album was it Let's Talk About Love was the the album that had that on it had it had um, what do you call it the My Heart Will Go On and had is it called Let's Talk About Love uh, yeah I don't think it has it has no 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 like yeah it is I think it's that album is My Heart Will Go On like track 14 or something on it Track yeah. twelve, is it on there? <laughs> I thought we were. This is I know this is weird. Maybe, Sorry. Maybe track ten. Track ten. Okay, right. That's not split hairs, like. No, no, right. It's definitely <laughs> on there though. It's like the album is like it's like dark and like smoky looking. It's dark and she's goldy, goldy, dark, right? Um, so that album, right? I I got a hi fi when I was like eleven, right, for Christmas. And this hi-fi had, this is an old school hi-fi where it had CD deck in the top, radio tuner, two, two oh, t- twin tape, decks tape decks and all, for yeah. recording with, right? Uh, so you can make mixtapes all the time, by the way. Um, and uh, I used to, and I, do you know what it had? A great function for a hi-fi, a sleeper. It had a sleep timer. So you could put it on for like 40 minutes when you were going to sleep. And then it goes off. And then it turns itself off, saving, that, saving the planet, right? I used to listen to that album quite a lot at night time when I was going to bed. To get you to sleep. Yeah. Celine Dion, did you? Celine Dion. And then I would switch it out occasionally for Savage Garden. Savage Garden. Um, which was also a great oh, album. That brings me back. Mate, listen to listen to the songs though that I'm listening to. I'm listening to I'm listening to Tell Him. I'm listening to My Heart Will Go On. I'm listening to Fucking Truly Madly Deeply. Mate, is it any wonder I ended up with a friend like that? <laughs> for fucking ten years, is it? <laughs> See, I wasn't expecting that. I know you like your like Blink One Eighty Two. I love all, all that, that too. Stuff but that's like a, that's the pop side. Because oh, at that time, do you know what? I, do you know what I've been listening to a lot recently in the last like week? R and B shit from like ninety nine two thousand. I was very eclectic at this time. I would have made Donnell Jones. Ooh, say what? Say what? Say what? You know that I like it, baby. He actually has a lyric in there where he says, "I think I feel a bone coming on." 
There's a great lyric. Is he doing tantra? And he, I mean, he, he literally is. He's in the back of a limo. He peeps someone's thighs. Holding him goes, back a route and sniffing and, beans. <laughs> <laughs> holding back a holding back a route. That was uh, simply right, wasn't it? Holding back a route. Um, so yeah, like he um, he actually goes and he says it like he is feeling a bone coming on because he goes, I "Think I feel a bone coming on." That's why he says it. Just oh, you know, a horny man, a horny man, Hornell Jones. So um, I've been listening to a lot of that. Donnell Jones, Nelly, right? Potato. No, just Nelly. Oh, right. Nelly, the one with the plaster. I'm, I'm not a, face, yeah, the, the, the plaster, plaster, yeah. Didn't he? I, I, I thought was it was Nelly Furtado. I was never a Furtado <laughs> fan, to be fair. She's nah. overrated. She's overrated. Don't know much about it. Shout that, shout that song, I'm Like a Bird. I'm like a bird. I'm Only fly like away. Yeah. I'm like a bird. I shit on people's cars. Um, yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a DJ, and that's the only Nelly Furtado song I know. Man eater. Oh, well, I know Try. that one right enough. Uh, what? Try. Try. What's that one? Oh, sing that. Uh, she had another <laughs> one, didn't she? She had, um, what was the one she did with, uh, she did one with somebody. It wasn't Eminem, was it? No. She definitely did like a big duet with somebody. Nelly Furtado and... Macy Gray. Neo. Did she do one with Neo? I hate that I love you. Who sings that? Is that Nelly Furtado? I love the way we're two DJs. We I know. have on our clue. Like. Who sings I Hate That I Love You <laughs> with, with, uh, with Neo? She did Broken Strings with James Martin. That's oh, the one. Wow. That's the one. Oh, that's I don't know one. that one, eh? Who, Dan, who sang, who sang I Hate That I Love You with Neo? Hate That I Love You so... I love how everyone from no one know Nelly hmm? Furtado songs to three. Rihanna. Rihanna, very good. Very good. Hmm? Here's a question for you, right? If you were on the radio, if you were given your own show on Q Radio, what would your playlist be for that hour of music? Oh, mate. Well, see, I would love to do pop punk stuff, but it's all old. What about your opener? See, if I was doing it now, do you know who I actually quite like Demi Lovato? So maybe throw in, um, I'd throw out a Demi track or two, like, um, oh shit, what do you call it? One, Let's Ruin the Friendship. Oh shit. It's off. It's all going off. Would that be your show over there? Oh. Your body's looking good tonight. Oh. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's good. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a great low key response to that. Oh, it's a good one. Uh, well, sir. Yeah, it's great. Uh, see, because Cl- Chloe listens. Right, so we share a Spotify, right? And Chloe's is like, Chloe listens to it way more than I do. So all the all the playlists that get generated off of it are just it, it'll be like all Chloe and then in the middle of it there'll just be one absolutely brutal Meshuggah track, right? Or like a brutal kill switch song. And then like the rest of it's all like Jonas Brothers fucking uh Nick Jonas on his own Chloe. Chloe will tell you that she doesn't really fancy him anymore, but loves the Jonas Brothers. She, she loves, loves Nick. It. She loves Nick. Yeah. But the good thing about that is though is that she sort of married a guy that looks a wee bit like him, so you know it's worked. It's, <laughs> it's worked out alright for her. Every time though I see him, I'm like, Jonas, um, you know, because I know I know he could just could snatch my life away from me, you know. Um, yeah, I like some of their stuff. I like that one. What's their song? Uh, oh, bollocks! That one that goes. Uh, oh shit! Let me get this now. I have to get this or I'll explode. What way does it go? Can you say Um it? Yeah. Hang on. Jonas Brothers. Sucker. I'm a sucker for you. Yeah. See the word I do. We play that, don't we? Oh, we play that, yeah. That's a tune. What about Waffle House? Do you like it? I don't, I don't know that one as well. Get it out. Conversations at the Waffle House. Waffle oh, House. I don't know that one as well. <laughs> have you heard the one that he has called? Have you heard the one he has called Bacon? No. <laughs> Literally, he goes like, "He's having bacon." In oh the shit! House. Throw some bacon on it. One thing I love more than being with you is like late night, no drama in my life. Mate, take that. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to know the Jonas Brothers. Quite mate, so I well. mean, uh, that's that's I eclectic. shocked me. Now. It's eclectic. I, I, an eclectic taste. There is some stuff that I won't stand for though. I, I I can't abide m- most Katy Perry songs. I think she's actually pretty terrible, but I do like Firework. Reminds me of being in Cold Rain back in the day. Yeah, Firework's a tune. Like. Yeah, it it was it was cons- in my group of friends. If we were out and Firework came on, 
people looked to me and would say things like, that's your song. In the same way in that... Coleraine. I, yep, in the same way that uh, we would look at my mate Marty when... Now, I always go to say Anne Lee was song. What did you call that one? Uh, write your number or something. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> call me, maybe. Hey, Carly I just Ray met Jensen. you. And this is crazy. Oh, mate, that was Marty's song, yeah. What a time. Bad Dogs for Life. Bad Dogs was the name of our uh, five-a-side football team because when you're learning shorthand in journalism, bad bad dog, it, it's like, you know, when you're learning joined up writing, they teach you sentences like the lazy dog. Was it the, the what's that sentence? The brown dog jumped over the lazy fox or something? When you're when you're when you're learning shorthand, bad dogs yeah, do things I remember, a lot. I remember what I was learning that. Yeah, bad dogs do a lot of shit. So like we were called the bad dogs. Won every game we played. Unbelievable. True story. There was oh mate, there was one. <laughs> there was one of the games. Ask them questions. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm very tired. Sorry. Um, <laughs> do we need to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, this is like the biggest musical rant I've ever heard in my I life. I know, now we're in the shorthand band there. <laughs> Do you remember that, lads? Do you remember when me and my mates me and, me, me and Decky never trained in journalism, so oh, yeah. can't we really relate? Yeah. I can't wait till we get Katie Perry. I'll go Keir Bartlett fucking <laughs> yes, <laughs> Here, well, Shane did it with fucking Foy Vance, didn't he? Did he? I don't hate Foy. Let me say this. I'm not being a shitty bitch. I actually really love Foy Vance. I, I've been to see Foy Vance multiple times. Oh, he's I, brilliant. He's I play. Class. I can play some of his songs. One or two of his songs. His song, I Was Made, is one of my favourite songs ever. But but I have slagged him before for letting the... For the mix of soul-style singing. Yeah. And then occasionally, like, a big a big Northern Irish twy. <laughs> do you not have moustache envy when you're looking for him? Oh, uh, yeah. He's like, have, do you know literally the living hat, Pringles man. Hat envy. I wish I could pull off a hat you, like you, that, man. You interviewed him. Was it, was it you? Uh, a couple of times. Connor was, he, had, he was on oh, Connor's right, show okay, as well. Yeah. But, um, I... I uh, probably guy. He's great, but uh, Shane Shane decided to bring him on his podcast and then talk to him about you know my beef with him. Like so, that was good. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, who's your Who's your favorite artist from Ireland? Really like Damien Dempsey. Really, John Spillane, Mick Flannery. Um, I really Damien like Dempsey is interesting. Ke- David Keenan sure. is my favorite at the moment. David Keenan. I don't think I know David Keenan. They play Snakes and Ladders on you. Spot. Can you play a song? No, David Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> All this talk about music. Uh, David Keenan, he's from Dundalk. Highly right, okay. recommend him. Good. Yeah. Uh, I must check that out. I like uh, Damien Dempsey. Uh, R. Kevin really likes him. We saw him. We saw him years ago at the Fela yeah, in Beachmont Leisure Centre. Oh, it did be an emotional experience. It was class. Yeah. He did. Um, he he had that song was big at the time. Like, Patience. Um, no, what do you call it? I'm never gonna let your negative vibes and comments get through, through to my psyche and, and cripple me. me. Oh. Never Irish gone. reggae. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. Like fucking drum and all. Yeah. Uh, and then, weirdly, it was Damien Dempsey, you know, Luca Bloom, he's Barry Moore, Christy Moore's brother. Oh, yeah. Um, they were doing like a songwriting thing, so they came up and did a gig. I think it was them too, and like, uh, like an Irish trad band, it might have been Dervish or something like that. Uh, we're up, and uh, and th- and then Damien Dempsey and Luca Bloom went to the Roddies on Springfield Road or uh, Glen Road, Glen Road, Glen Road. Sorry, and um, went there and did like a a songwriting thing. I mean, our Kev went to it, and um, and that was when we got taken. We were early, and they took us into the museum in the Rallys, which is not an actual museum, but at that time was a collection of are these legal artifacts. Now, uh, who would be your who would be your favorite? Uh, well, you mentioned Christy Moore. I love Christy Moore. Oh, I love Christy Moore is amazing. That and then homegrown Northern Ireland would be Ram McMullen. He's, oh, he's yeah, he's great. Like, he's great. Is he country music? Mm, no, no. I, I go more like well, he's a like singer songwriter. He's yeah. sort of like. Pop rock, you know. Mm. He's brilliant. Like Northern it. Ireland. Hammer. Great singer. Do I, I like about here is the buskers are good and they're not mm. class. Lethal. They're not good down south. Is Dublin not famous what? for buskers? Like? I don't. I, don't I know go, you're from Cork. I don't go to Dublin. Mm. Really. Honestly, I just go for work. I go in, do the gig, get the hell out. Like. Do you like Dublin? No. Um, I like the people. Mm. But not the city. No. Do you know what I hate in Dublin? If you miss your turn. Ah. 
45 minutes. You wake up from Kildare. Yeah, oh, so annoying. Uh, I also hate that M50, fuck's oh. sake. Yeah, like there's a lot of things I don't like about though. Like there's no east. Like there's a north, there's a south, there's a west. The oh, east there's is no just east the river. The sea. And like, yeah. what are you getting? Like, what are you getting? What are you getting for your money? You're getting nothing. I don't know. It's shit. You might as well go to London. You, you literally might as well. You know what I mean? What am I? You can't even, can't even buy a house. You can't, can't. Can't even buy a house there. You can't do anything. Like, the airport, the terminal is in a different county than the car park. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can't afford a house. It's nine euro a pint. Um, That's not bad, though, is it? What, what is nine it for euro. A, what is it for a pint now up here? Is Five about, quid. It's not about eight quid up here for a pint. No, no, I don't drink equipped. to be fair. There was a receipt doing the rounds online. Did you see that? Of like nine nine sixty for a pint of Guinness. You pay about five fifty for a pint of Guinness here. A round was, was like ninety quid, and it was no, like sixty five euro. Was it? And it was like four drinks. What was it? <coughs> two, four pints. Drinks? two pints. Two pints like and yeah, two gin mad. and tonics. Absolutely mad. Fuck mm. off. That's mental. Mm. I I don't know. Like I I I stopped drinking ages ago. Probably like going out and buying drink anyway. I say as if I only drink what I steal. But like I. Uh, Fuck, I don't really miss it at all. Like, I definitely don't miss the hangovers. I used to, I used to be a wee bitch with a hangover. Mm. Like, if, I'm a bitch without a hangover. So, like, when I'm, you ge- did you ever get the dreads? You know the dreads. Yes. The beer all, fear. All like, the time. did you ever get whiskey skull? You know, like hot, like fire skull. You know, if you were drinking whiskeys, I used to drink whiskey, and I would get actual, like, fire brain, or you, you go to bed and your head just feels like a fucking furnace. And the, but the only thing that's burning is your hopes that you weren't a cunt that night because <laughs> you'll wake up the next day going, I was a wanker to everybody. Oh my God, what did I say to that person? And oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was good. It was good. I I'm glad I stopped up. Like, I don't, I enjoy my pints, but I wouldn't never drink a whiskey or a short or anything. Oh, see, I was. I know where I am. I know where I am with pints. Like, yeah, I, I was like, flat out on the whiskey. Like, I didn't, I didn't really. That's your mistake. There, well, where did it. you drink a whiskey? Did you take it with a wee cheeky, like ginger ale? A wee or was coke. it. A wee, a wee, a wee, wee, wee dark coke. Was it like a jack or a, a wee double? Or a wee? I would do a wee double jack. A wee jack and coke. And then as the night would progress, you'd start getting silly. You maybe do triples, you maybe do quads. And then that's really? silly. Yep. Quads? Would you do a quad whiskey? Me and, me and, see, me, me and Johnny, do you know what it would be? People would buy us drinks and then we just go, like if we were playing. Oh, tipping. And you just go fucking eye. And like you're looking at each other going, what's in that? I don't know. And you're just wrecked. Don't miss it. Be sober. Or you just don't drink? Uh, like, well, did you drink, have a drink problem? No. Oh, just, right, okay, No, sorry. well, I mean, I never had a problem with it. Like, I think um, other people might have, normally joking. I, uh, no. Uh, no, because I, w- I, was, I was going, it was the same shit as going out with, uh, like, anybody. Do you know mm. what I mean? You go out Friday, Saturday, you get wrecked, and then... Yeah, so I'd, I'd probably go myself. out maybe once a month, twice yeah. a month. I mean, but I have been, like, ten years since I've really been on it. Like, yeah, like, I, I drink I, differently now. Like I, I enjoy a quiet, see a Guinness, like mm. a state of the art Guinness. That, that's, that's <laughs> state of the art Guinness. See, yeah. no, he's obsessed with like, Guinness. Like, oh, really? Mate, sure, we did a thing in the show one day. You made me Guinness Minister of Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to get sponsorship from Guinness or something. Uh, we were trying like to get we were something like. You know? I say I would get a Guinness tattoo if a bar would consider giving me free Guinness for a year. For a year, and I wouldn't take the piss. Like I wouldn't go in like every day of life. Every yeah. second day, like you know, every <laughs> <laughs> every second day for two. Pints. Even like once a week, two pints, I'd be happy. What would that work out at? Once a week, two pints. So, fifteen quid a week. You, you, you sixty see, quid a month. You think it's you think it, yeah. So like about a grand a year, is it? Uh seven. Seven. Seven hundred quid. See, I keep thinking pints are a pound. They're dear in that fucking Grand Central, aren't they? Up no, in that bar at the top. Up in, that, up in the bar that's meant to have the view. Other panorama. hotels available. What's the fuck? What view are you looking at in Belfast? What are you looking it's at? It's a panorama. You're above every but other what's building. What's there to look at? Like? The, the top ants, of other buildings. The ants below you if walking we're around who couldn't get into the hotel. Talking about whiskey, I ordered a whiskey cocktail in the Grand Central called the Titanic. And it came with an ice cube about fucking Oh that my size God. There. I swear to God. You get that sinking feeling whenever you see the price. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. And it was like 20 quid. And then the whiskey was just, see, at the bottom. Oh. Well, I have a little trick for that. You know, if you ever go to a restaurant, you know, when you go, so this is how pedantic I am. I go in and I say, no, I, I went to, to a place down here. I was like, oh, what can I get you a drink? And I went, can I get a Diet Coke? And I go, can I just ask, is it in a can? Is it in a bottle or is it out of the gun? And they said, it's out of the gun. I said, I'll have it with no ice then. Because they put the ice in and then they fill it up. And if you actually take the ice out, you're only getting half a glass. So I say, can I have it a uh, cold without the ice? And they fill it up to the top. And then when they come back, I'll have a glass of ice now, please. That's, that's calculated. This guy. That's, 
This fucking guy won't play a grand to see fucking take that. Oh, Robbie, what are you fucking? I like this though because your your idea to get two pints a week for all year costs slightly less than I take that ticket. I'm if anyone wants to go for it, like, I will. I'll get a tattoo live on the radio. I do it happily. Oh mate, you got tattoo? I'd even get the oh. Guinness tattoo on my heart. I I, I was meant really? to get no. Oh, I was probably my arm or something. I was meant <laughs> to get. Uh, I was meant to get um, the tea with me cup. For what was it for a thousand patrons or something? Um, and then I was sick that day and I haven't got it yet, and I still haven't got it, but I wouldn't mind getting it. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, do you know what? Also, do you know what? Me and Chloe were knee deep in a um, oh, I know, in a, <laughs> in a documentary series, um, and we were very close. Like, actually, we went in and inquired on a whim to get uh, like a spray paint style smiley face. On, on our wrists and then we just never did it Um, it was from this documentary and we were about to go do it and then we went in the guy was like yeah come back in an arm we'll, we'll get you in we were like right and then we went to like uh, tribal or something we were like what the fuck are we doing let's just have these wings and go home <laughs> and that's what we did thought was there great story though what a life yeah oh, I've got I've got memories <laughs> you know what I mean uh, I, I sort of some, have you tattoos no would you get one no why is it a my body's a temple type of thing? Or? No, um, I don't think it'd suit me. It wouldn't suit. It depends what you get. Do you know what I mean? You could, you We've could, had this conversation, haven't we? And yeah. You could, get, you, get? Could get, you could get one of those sweet tear tattoos, you know, people think <laughs> you murdered somebody. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. need that to prove that. <laughs> um, I don't know. What would you, what would you reckon? I mean, I'd probably get something a small and gun. personal or something like. Yeah. Probably something small and personal. Maybe something to do with sport or Ireland or family or something. Mm. I wouldn't get like a, just go out and get a fucking dragon or anything. No, there's, nothing, know, wrong yeah. with, there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, but it's not your vibe. It's not my I vibe. I have my, my radio there. Right, right, right. And like a music heart oh, rate. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And then, uh, and then I got that one when I was like 17. <laughs> and it was, I play Irish dance music. I'm a right, okay. trad Irish musician. And that was like a logo I got. Right. But the story of this one was I went to like the shittest tattoo place you could possibly right, imagine. Right. Like I mean it was dirt. Like it yeah. was filth. Hiving. Yeah. Jiving. Like and I went in. But I was shitting myself before I went in. So I took my mate for like hold my hand, moral support. And then I went and bought numbing gel before I went in and like covered my arm in numbing gel. Oh my god. And this big guy came out, like I mean leather jacket, the full works tattoos, every bit of his body. And he was like, see that fucking needle. And he whipped this needle <coughs> and it was huge. And he went it's now got to be this needle because you put numbing gel in your arm so it's going to hurt twice as much. Jesus. So I literally, yeah. That's a way Is it fucking... painful to get a tattoo? So it depends. That one was nippy, like, under the arm. See, I, I don't know. It. I don't know. I deal well with that either, like. For, for, Have you for not got a, any resilience? For a wee picture. Not for nips and burns, no. No? So if you, yep. like, burnt your finger on, like, Mate, the I can gas at home by accident that would be brutal for me running under the tap for five minutes and then once you do that straight away after five minutes it actually kills the sting. Yeah. But would you be able to cope with a burnt finger for a bit? Like it would annoy me. Oh, it annoys you. Put think, some creams on it. Like I think. It, I think. Do you ever see when you burn something, you realize, like, say you burn the back of your hand, and you go fuck, right, and then you run onto the top, whatever. But then you realize in the next five days how often you actually use that bit of your hand. Mm. You know, every time you put your trousers up, you're like, fuck sake. Mm. You know what I mean? Every time you put a top on or go to open the door, you don't notice it. You're just casually banging it. You know what I mean? But you notice when it's fucking cooked. I hate that. Yeah. I don't deal well with all that. I, d- no. I, d- I don't deal well with like nips and being nipped. I hate that. So like maybe a pinchy feeling. Do you know, do you know, did you ever like, did you ever get an injection or something by a doctor where they go to take blood out and they say a word, they say this all the time. They go, they either say, this won't hurt or actually what they say now is, you might just feel a little scratch. Yeah. I'm like, it's not, it's not a little scratch. It's a fucking rape needle going into my arm. Like it's fucking, it's in me. I, I don't like it. Rape needle. Yeah. Lovely. Is that on the NHS? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can get it done privately as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate, I hate all that. I hate being nipped. I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, I don't know about tattoos. I probably prefer to get a piercing, but like, what would you even get? Would you get like a nose piercing and all? Or no, like fuck not now. I think, I, you know, I could have probably been a horn swoggle in this in my early 20s. I really tongue? wanted, I really want, do you know what I really wanted? I wanted my lip done when I was younger. I'm so glad I didn't do it. Good. I would, I You'd regret it when you get older. I think it would look like a ball bag. Have you ever heard of a Prince Albert? No. Yes. What's that? You know what that is, do you? You're, you're wine. Yeah. Your, your penis. You get your you get your null pierced eye and but then sure you put a chain. That's going to be uncomfortable for... I would think it would be. 
you know, for when you're doing things. Plus, like, well, I, I often, I, I often wonder, <laughs> like, most places that do piercings don't actually seem very clinical, if you know what I mean. They're in the in shops and places like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're in the what? The in shops. Remember the in shops? The in shops. It was a, it was a, a shopping gala in a, a shopping spree. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? A shopping. A mall, would you even call it that? It was a group of shops in High Street in Belfast. It was like an indoor nuts corner market. Yes, that's yes. what it was like. Or like behind the counter, like just, to keep it was your all mouth. dark. Everything was dark and just yeah. a bit dodgy, a bit stinking. I, you know, you could you could probably buy drugs in it. Yeah, but also, uh, you know, onion rings and chips. <laughs> you, could do, you could do a lot in there. You could though. do a lot in the end shops. I, it was. Just, do, you know, do you know Smithfield Market? It was like a darker Smithfield, which is mental because Smithfield is as dark as it gets, mentally speaking. You know what? How's, Have you been to Smithfield Market? No. It's like the back of Castle Court. It's like an old market. Like you could be buying a vase in one shop and then go and get a pellet gun in the next yep. shop, and then and like then a gravy and then, chip, <laughs> and then the biggest Persian rug that is actually made in Antrim from the next shop. You know, it's so it's just full of like the locals, weird little shops, and like. And near, near, near dirty bits, you know, of town, just oh, rotten right. streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gresham Street. Yeah. People working cash. Ca- cash economy. You know. Well, we'll no. sell. We'll sell. We'll sell you. We'll sell you a set of World War Two German soldiers in this shop, but there's still those next door. <laughs> Do you want a bond? Sounds like my bedroom. Yeah, it's three shops over. Um, it's a picture of Michael Collins and a vibrator. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> sensational! Um, so yeah, so how's the uh, how's the breakfast show working out these days? It's going How long great. has been on it now? Jeez. Together, May wasn't it? First of first May. First of May, I started. Very oh. first of May. Decky's been here a couple of years. I've. I don't know why it was funny, but it was. What? <laughs> first of May. That's when I started. He's been doing a couple of years. No, but like I joined. Him, I know, like. I know, but it was just funny for <laughs> for no reason. It just tickled me. It was an adjustment at the start because <laughs> it was going. What's he gonna say here? Uh, Jesus, uh, what's he gonna say? But see, to be honest, just hit it off from the that's grand. It's just everything's just went. Boom. No, no, it's fine. It's, it's, it's it not good. a. It's not. Uh, I've probably calmed down a little bit. Just a wee bit. Yeah, I probably had to rein it in a small bit. But once I, I did, I think the day figured, once I figured it out, all Range Rover drivers scum. That's funny though. That was the sort of. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't say that I was the welcoming. I told. Yeah, I I, I kind of went a bit crazy on that. Like, but I saw a Range Rover. Do, parked over two spaces oh, that's and fair, I just no. went and I just you know you know when you, know, you get going on a rant yeah. it just goes and goes and they kind of like let me just go like I would let you go you know on I mean? that oh that is infuriating though no. yeah so started a bit of a debate that day but um, do you ever do that thing when you see somebody parked like that or you see somebody parked oh. like a wanker and in your head you go I could have had that space if you weren't parked like a wanker and then actually I get to this other plane then eventually where I go but probably that space would also have been taken by the time I got here. Yeah. So why well, am I freaking but out? But also, it and may then, not have been taken because that car probably was only a minute ahead of you. Yeah, and then you start freaking out again. Yeah. yeah. My mate has an Instagram page for that. Does for he? What? You park like a wanker. And oh, he t- like he would upload the full car and rage. And I like I like that about him. Just shame people. Like that's that. sort of like He's a the kind of guy now I enjoy his company. Yeah. And Instalante, <laughs> that's kind of what that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it's crazy, but like we've, since we started doing the breakfast show, like it's been pretty straightforward, really. Like we kind of yeah, all know our roles. Great. We all know our roles. How's we the how's that morning shit working out? Though it's early as fuck. What time is up at? I ask you this every well, time. I get up at half it. four. I'm up oh, ten to five. That's 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 yeah. That's but we're rough. we're in. Well, Decky goes in for about five, and I'm in for about half five. What's it like down there at that time of the morning? Oh, like sometimes it can be. Bit? Sometimes like is that a scary wee bit to walk around in the morning? No. Well, we're what about. Literally a minute walk from the car park to the I studio. Oh, but mate, see for that minute. Oh, I'm a fearful wee boy. I would hate that. You'd hate it like a little wee prick. Or I would. I like. would. You know, I'd be honest with you. See, if I was one of you, I would need. I would specifically be like, if I was you, I would be meeting you to walk around from my car park. I All would right. hate to do that walk on my own. No, I'm quite comfortable walking. I hate it. Do you know what I'd be doing? I'd be. I would be trying to get them to change the law so that I could park outside Sawyer's. <laughs> 
<laughs> How often do you head in there, by the way? I love oh, it. The oh, sandwich is so great. We actually tried caviar out of there. We tried caviar. Like, oh, we, really? we never. There was a thousand pound tub of caviar. Like, yeah, I, I, I saw that there. It's absolutely stinging. Is it? Oh, it's it? I've never had it. Absolutely it like, rank. Is it like fishy fish? Rank. Is it? The guy said as he went right. You need to find the least saltiest part of your body. I was like, what? So apparently, the least saltiest part of your body is in between your knuckles. So someone obviously done that test one day. Yeah, the least lick. saltiest part of your body is, is between your knuckles. So you have to put caviar between your knuckles and just sort of go at it. Go at it. And we went at it, and oh my god, it was. I mean, what's it? What if you had to describe the taste? Shite. Shite. Is it? <laughs> is it fi- salty shite? Salty. Is it fishy? Salty. Yeah. Like fishy fish. Yep. If you know what I mean. Salt. I don't even like chippy fish. Like right. I, I hate seafood. I think right. it's bouncing. Yeah. And that was stinking. Oh, it's, it's, it's like fish eggs or something. Do you know, you know when you yeah. put something down? Sturgeon do you know eggs. when you swallow something and you just know it's not going to agree with your with your uh, body? Yeah. And your body just kind of goes, "Why have you given me this?" Yeah, yeah. Oh man. And you have you to stand there and do a video and go, "Oh yeah, yeah." Yeah, it's worth yeah. a grand. It's yeah. worth a, who the fuck is paying that? Like French shade, like hey, who the fuck? Today we had caviar, darling. You fuck, you're a fucking. Melt. Do you know what looks stinking? <laughs> it's all showy. Like. You're a big do you know what fucking looks as well? Have you ever see? Is it is it salmon eggs? Salmon roe. A cod roll, and it comes out like it comes out like a big polenta thing, and the slice it and all. Oh man, it looks fucking rank. It's horrible. That or like mean. people that eat the some people eat the gonad of a scallop. You know the 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 orange bit. It's not for me. Like no. some people See, eat even that shit. seafood sounds minging. Like when you talk about it, you don't want to be thinking about the word gonad you while you're fucking you chewing food? on some want, fishy. Like, do you want some food from the sea? No, I'm alright. Do you want some seafood? Yeah, okay. Like squid pizza and all that's that's Squ- see see the slam here, it gets the less I'm interested. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll say though, scallops. I'll have that. I got food poisoning from uh, oysters. Oh stinking. And it made the pain I can be serious you. as well. Yeah. Food poisoning off seafood's fucking there can, a, can be really dangerous. A, a lot of people got poison from oysters in a restaurant and like two days later it was in the paper Fuck. saying that this restaurant had a lot of complaints oysters are like a fucking devil snatters as well like they're stinking see like. give me a big dirty steak aye, with aye. see tobacco onions that's, that's me I enjoy it I enjoy it I went, I went to Nando's recently medium I went to Nando's recently what's your thoughts completely done with it now oh really why oh, Nando's why? It, I like Nando's oh sick of it why what's wrong went in sat down knew what we wanted straight up to the counter <laughs> half a chicken medium spice rice and chips you go up or we don't have the f- <laughs> what what I, know, I just love the structure in your life it's brilliant yeah. so we, we sit down by the have, way Andrew needs to have a finishing time so if he's getting into Nando's he'll be out by like say when in a three he'll be out by 3.30 oh right I have okay. to have a finishing time I have to know right. when I'm leaving every area I go into right okay so like I know I'm leaving here at two o'clock I can't be here at ten past two I have to be on the road like right, right. to go home to sit in the other chair to go and sit in what? In the other chair. <laughs> I don't like this hanging around so here, faffing like. Tell me about this now though. So, so you, you go so for your half chicken and and chips. In. She wanted a chicken wrap. So we go up, table 30. I says, half, <laughs> half chicken, half a chicken with rice and chips, unlimited drink. Yep. Julie, chicken wrap with garlic bread and peri peri chips. The guy then says, the unlimited drink machine is broken, so we can give you a can. So what do you want? So I said, that's grand. I said, I'll have Coke there and Diet Coke for herself. We get the drinks, place the order, pay £32.85, get the receipt, go back and sit at number 30, go collect me knives, me forks, me, me ketchup, me medium spices, me salts. And I'm sitting down. Waitress comes over, very sorry, but your chicken's going to be half an hour. I said, how can it be half an hour? It's a chicken place. Did you not expect to be selling chicken? Like, <laughs> it's to cook half the bird, though. Like how? Yeah, but like, how do you not know you're going to be selling chicken? Like, but you can't, you can't part cook it, can you? No, but you normally you would. You how long would. does it take to do? Uh, anyway, there was a delay. Anyway, half an hour for. I mean, because if they're actually. But I was hungry, like. But if they're doing a half chicken, you must know that it's going to be. But it's never been that long before. She, it's not normally no, she came over to apologise that there was a problem and that was going to be half an hour. Anyway, she goes, would you like to change your order? I said, all right, go on, I'll have the chicken wrap. And she goes, okay, I'll let you know what the difference is in the price. I said, well, I'm not paying anymore. Yeah. You're the one with the mistake. Yeah. Surely it's cheaper as well. Surely the wrap is cheaper than a than fucking a half, half a chicken. chicken. The wrap is, no, the it's just, I think the, the wrap is a pound cheaper or something like that. Right. right? Anyway. So I drink me drink and I was told I had unlimited cans so I went up to the counter and I went, can I have another can of Coke Zero? And the man said, you? you have to pay for it now. I said, no, I'm not paying for it. Because I wanted unlimited. Yeah. 
and I've paid for Unlimited. Yeah, but you have to pay for the cans. I was, I'm not, no, the machine's broken. That's not my fault the machine's broken. Correct. So your man gives me two free cans for free. I sit back down, still no food. I'm sitting there going, you know what, there's, there's an energy here. Like, I'm not happy with the energy. And there's an like, energy oh, here. Right. Anyway, to bring out the food, food's fucking cold. So you have plenty of time to cook it. Time to, time to time let to it go cold as well. cold. What Nando's was this? Um, the one in Victoria, shopping centre. The, the waitress was lovely, by the way. So I went back up again. And I said, uh, no, what did I say? Oh, no, I saw someone get a chicken. And I went, how's he got a chicken there now? Like a full chicken. And he got like a quarter chicken. I said, and it was only about 20 minutes past. Said, how's he got a chicken there now? See, but it was only a quarter. It takes... But a half is two quarters. <laughs> a half is two quarters. A half is two quarters. Yeah, so, yeah, but it's one piece, though, isn't it? No, no, it's two pieces. Is it when it comes? Yeah. It's not like half the chicken. No, it's two pieces. Oh, it's weird. That is weird. So all you need to do is cut two quarters for me. Yeah. Anyway. And I said, kind of said to her, like, what's the crack here? Like, it's not, it's not right, like. Did you, did you, did you, did you get out alive? I know, like. Oh, I paid it and I left a tip and everything, but I left. I would never leave a bad review of the people because it's... Just you know, come on a podcast and give it a bad review. It's Nando's, mate. It's Q brilliant. Breakfast will never be sponsored by Nando's. Know, Nando's, yeah. Nando's is... And I'll still go back to Nando's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For every 50 times you go to the one place, okay, you might have one if you yeah. experience. You're not, I'm not going to slate the company. No, no. I just went in on the wrong day at the wrong time. Do you know what I like? I like, I like that corn on the cob. I hate know? corn on the cob. It scares oh, me. Saucy. Right? I love corn on the cob. Do you like corn on the cob? Yeah, loads of butter. A wee, a wee, do you know what I do? I cheekily take the wee butter pack they give you and just rub it on it as if like I'm I'm suntan it, you know? Oh, I like it. Do you want to watch me do that someday? <laughs> See, that is like tantra. Yeah. That there. Butter, butter in the cob and just being like, <laughs> shall we FIFA? Yeah. Let's do it. Right, we'll do, do you we'll, go no, first? you go first. We'll do like, we'll do like a wee... I'll do um, commentary. Yeah, why don't we do... Um, You've done me up a kipper already. Why was wrong? Xbox. Xbox, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, well... This is this is where it goes here. I, I have no right. blasters. So, if um, so we'll do like a half H for you guys against me. Is that does that suit? Who are we? Uh, we'll we'll see here now. Who so do you want to be, Declan? You follow Everton. Declan follows we're, Everton. We're Liverpool. Oh, you follow Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought it was Everton. So if you just eat any of those, like AA is fine. I'm yeah. happy to be Liverpool. If you yeah, want to go Liverpool, like yeah. she's you're gonna be Liverpool. Yeah, I'll be United then. The true reds. Oh, oh the game knows. set up and all the game, game knows. knows. Right, I'll go away, sure. I I, I want to have a look at this team. Are you like ultimate pro mode here? What's the no is? no? I'm. This is this is these are. Uh, my team is actually ready. To be fair, that's the that has saved my. I'm happy enough for that. Right, you're happy with. Are you, what are you, see, there's there not go. even starting these. What hit, the? hit B. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, it's all good. See what's RT and so. It is the same shape as a, a PlayStation. Oh, the the big difference would be, this isn't shoot. That's that's boot, and that is shoot. So B shoot. Yeah. yeah. Right. And X is like long pass, is it? Yeah. Right. X also does your uh, your slide tackle, and B does like a stamp. And then is RT run. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Did you just watch the football over the weekend? Yeah. I was devastated at that United game. Mm. That was a two 0 Just go pit. 3-1 three, 3-1 one. Three, one. Yeah Oh It's already right. started It's already begun it's Oh begun. my god It's begun Don't Fernandez Martial oh, Ah save Oh it was a massive great save there From Big Al like, Did you see a save he made there last week Where he pushed it on the bar I can't remember who they were playing But it's fucking sensational dirty, Oh he couldn't stop that bastard though. Who's that Mar This is like Promoter Casemiro you big boss Look at that Give me some face. Get over that camera. Is there a camera over here? Oh, Do you know FIFA's it? been got rid of? There's uh, a new it's game called, called? It's called EA24 now. That's what it's going to be. Why have they lost the rights or something? Is there a naming I think, rights issue? Um, yeah, the, the, they've lost the FIFA license. EA have. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Like, It doesn't seem like they've given that FIFA license to anyone else yet. But they're buying to it. Oh, Karen's yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I made him. Yeah. Uh, well I'm done, ferocious then. at the back, like. Right, Gabapo. So Nunes, switch it. That's a good lad, decade. Oh, there it is. We're in. Oh, it's Malassia again. Though. Terrell, big bag of Terrells. You don't realise how shit you are until you're playing Kieran FIFA. That's it. Oh, FIFA. there's a clip there, Fosty. Uh, for my ego. Just send, don't send that to anybody, just me. Oh, look at this. We're pinging it. No, oh, we're can't shit. get back past. Oh, back. 
What about Darwin Nunes as well, scoring him two goals for yeah. Liverpool against Newcastle? Yeah, well, that kind of a performance by Liverpool, Newcastle really, really kicks. <laughs> Oh, Declan! Shit. Declan, yes. you you what? I was a screamer. You fucking what? Do me a oh. favour, clip that one. Clip that one. Yeah. Declan that's, out that's of brilliant. nowhere against the run of play. <laughs> I was a fucking screamer, to be fair. Well done, Declan. Was that Salah? Very proud of you there, man. Very proud. I'm like that, that was like an actual right now, Salah goal. I'm just going to start. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we here go. go. Oh, he's had his moment. Can't even... Marcus. Oh, fuck. The arrogance ah. of him. <laughs> was arrogant. The arrogance. Was arrogant. The goalie the wasn't even off his line. No, no. Why would you do it? Should have put my boot oh. through it. So what are you doing that for? Giving the fans what they want. Like, Giving the um, fans what they want. Prawn sandwiches. So, what's he going to say? What have you got coming up then? I uh, got my special out in a week. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Where did you fill them up? Black box. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, looking forward to it. I, uh, I'm writing a new show at the moment, so I'm doing a lot of new material kind of gigs yeah. and stuff, just trying to f- figure so, out yeah. new jokes and stuff, and then obviously just doing the radio and looking forward to the Rugby World Cup. Yeah, when's that? Uh, Starts Friday. Yeah. We're going to Paddy McDonald at the SSC. Oh, on Friday? Yeah. That'll be a great time. Paddy, pa- Paddy had me in stitches over in fucking Amber a few times, man. It was good, yeah. But yeah, man, we just had a good, we just had a bit of crack, like, hanging out, like... Whip, whip, whip. Oh, that's a chance. Oh, oh and lucky that Dave, Dave says no. Well done. Um, Good effort, man. Did you play much of this, No. Uh, <laughs> I bought, over lockdown, I bought myself a PlayStation and just played the computer, basically, at FIFA. Uh, but it was like beginner and then I whopped them like 17 mil, yeah. thinking I was brilliant. But Oh, what a save. A massive save. Look. Great save, Alison. There he is, big Eric. I like Eric. I like Eric. It's cutthroat. Eric Bali left today. Eric Bailly left uh, today. There's a chance for me. Oh, yeah. The oh, ar- oh, the arrogance. Rough. The arrogance. The arrogance. I should have, he's giving me my free kick. Oh, he's giving you a penalty. I was thinking. That's oh, a penalty, isn't it? Yeah, no, I think it's a free for Casemiro. Final on Casemiro. Trent. Hating it, like. I'm just glad I got a goal, like. Uh, it's, oh, is it? I, I, oh, oh. oh, fuck's sake. I'm shit. These. There's chances. I wouldn't even know how to take a free in this game. Oh, my oh. God. Off the post. Come on, Decky, keep it going, lad. Oh, I'm Come on. Q Radio versus No Blast. Switch it. Oh, oh go on, Decky. Oh, first time Maguire did some defending ever. Oh, Q Radio playing, versus No Blast. Come on. <laughs> That's the stuff. Oh, what oh. was that? Are you any good at FIFA, Andrew? Top he's 10 all right. in the world. He's all right. Is he good? All right. He's all right. I, I, need to change the, I need to change the controls, though, at, at halftime controller they settings. They probably won't save because it's Xbox and they have never fixed that problem. But um, I will do it. <laughs> Dan, do have, we any, uh, have we any questions oh, left over? Oh, look at this move. Oh, oh it's stink. oh stinking. <laughs> Here's a wee chance. Here. Here's Keeper a wee come chance. out triangle. Anyway. Save, save, save. Yeah! yeah the off. Off. Offside. He's, he's off. He's off. He's off. He's asked to be off. He is off. He's off. That's disgusting. This deserved. Matt Martial, get out of the club, you lazy fuck. Here's a question. I, I would Who? happily see him leave. Oh, he's so lazy. Whose goal was better, mine or Kieran's? I think Declan's Yours, goal yours was, was definitely better. better. I yeah. Agree. Great I goal, scored then. a wee shitty header and you scored a fucking screamer. But here they all come for one bit, you know. Sam, what's come on, Decky, that's what's it. What's the best snack from your childhood that isn't made anymore? Oh, shit. Great question, Sam. Nice Lucky Ducky, you're doing great, man. Sam wants to know what's the best snack from our childhoods that you can't get anymore. Do you know what I was actually going to do? And only I was running a bit late, I didn't do it. I was going to bring you a packet of Banshee Bonies. Oh my God, I enjoy oh, a wee Banshee one. So there was a time when you couldn't get them. Can you still get Ghosties? They were a good wee dirt. They were like they were like smoky bacon flavoured Banshee Bones, if you know what I mean. Except they were in the shape of like a wee... A wee, oh. a wee ghost. Oh, oh wonk, penalty, penalty. Wonk, wonder challenge. I'm trying to think what else you can't get anymore that was good. Oh, Dickie, you're absolutely battering it. Um, no, I'm not. Honest to God. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> no, I'm not. The man games have started. I'm not being funny with you, but Kieran, a bit disappointed. <laughs> Do you know what I had the other day and it was great? A Space Raider bap. Oh, oh Jesus. Christ, it was that. beautiful. Be- beef Space Raiders or pickled onion? Pickled onion. Oh. And like, do you know what Belfast Bap Yes. Was? Loads of butter. Yeah. Mate, see, was, oh. see a Belfast Bap as the base of a sandwich, you're having a fucking great day. That's what that is. I'm having a mirror right now. Oh, there's a oh, chance for three us. Three against two. Oh, oh, a chance for us. 
Martial. Do you know what? Oh, can, I say, can I just say? Can I just say no? Can I just say, Karen? You're you're fancying around the box too much. You're not clinical. That's what I you're taking be. too many touches. I want the I want the fans to love. Everything. You want the fans to love. Oh, what was that? That's in. You're not taking enough. You're taking too. You're too. You're trying to have the the, the, the the golden shot like the. Oh, look at me! I'm amazing. When actually, you know, like. You need to be more clinical. Like, what's the passing about? You know, what's that like? He's doing me here. See oh. what I mean? Yeah, you, you know, I can't wait to play you. Fans love it. Fans, Fans love, love it. Because when, when Come it comes on, Decky, that's it, Decky lad. That's we, it. Tick, only, that's it. We're fucking we only there, right? that switch. Goals. Huh? He didn't see that coming, did he? Go on, now. Oh, oh. A lucky Decky. Love the ambition. Love the ambition. It is ambition from fucking thirty-five yards. First <laughs> <laughs> um. So here, what, what? The, I'm trying to think. Would you? Do you know what used to be a good time? A creamy dam. Oh yes. You still even get them. They were good. So you said creamy dam, and that instantly put me off. They were. They What's were this great. Guy doing? You get a free oh. cake. They they were fucking good. Do you know what I might love? I love it. I love a tonic tea cake. Oh, they're brilliant. But you can still get them. Yeah. Oh. oh come on! Mate, mate. Oh. Decky's just done literally the same goal twice. That is pretty much the same goal. It's coming up to half time. I'm not happy about that, mate. You've probably won your half. <sighs> See, since you were on the breakfast show, I've literally played FIFA every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> we knew this was happening. I would spoke to my wife and child. Do you know, <laughs> we, we practice every day from 10 to 6 in the evening. <laughs> in between songs, we have FIFA in the studio. That's amazing. Take him out, take him out. Take oh, here's oh, a wee, cha a wee chance for us. A wee chance for United to even us up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, take your time, it. son. Fucked take it. your time. <laughs> Play it out from the back. Let him know you're there. He's on a Chris Waddle. Right. So weird. Andrew. I need to change the controls. That's right. They're well there, mate. Well, well done. I'm happy with that. Foreign square. Fucking disgusting. Um, Andrew, well. lose this for your for your franchise. Can we go Can into go. Uh, settings? Yeah, so uh, if you go to customize controls, I think. Okay, so these are my... Uh, Andrew, I, but that won't... Andrew, move your mic in front of you first. That won't, that won't let you... Um, <laughs> that, that, that won't let you change it. If you hit B... Go to customize controls. Oh, let's see. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we're just doing it for it. Yeah, my apologies. My apologies. <coughs> Do you want it up? Yeah. There you go. Okay, one second. I'm well happy with that. Like, you did do well. Do you get like a goodie bag or something? For you get, do you know what you get? You, you get, you get threatened after, <laughs> afterwards. Um, what's happening here, Andrew? Hold on. True ball. X is shoot. Only Andrew would have to you, change you, the entire you've... configuration of the game. Shoot. <laughs> Short pass. Slide and tackle. Where's the slide and tackle? Oh, that's attack. LB is play. Sprint is RT. Hold on a second. RT. I want R1 to be the sprint. So RB and RT. And then... So is that know, sprint there? Yeah, but it, it won't save this. Like. <laughs> it will. It, it, it won't. It, it, you think it will, but it, it just won't. No, I'll show you. I know how to do this. Shoot. No, no, it'll it'll tell you it's done it, and then when you go to play, it'll be exactly. It'll the same. be the same as it was. I promise. Like if you hit B now and hit temporary configuration, it won't save it. Can Does we, that change can we, your configuration then? No. no. No, it probably just won't. Like if I give you this ball here, I'll give you. It. Like try to try to do. One of the things. Yeah. What was that? Pass? No, I was. I definitely hit the shoot button there. I promise. I promise. Well, Captain, go ahead. Oh, oh, he's done me hard. I didn't like that. He's talking to me about hard. I, I was cheeky. Um, I want to think about what what else I can't fucking buy anymore. Uh, B fives for five p. They were fucking cheesies. I, how much are they with thirty five p now? Aren't they? Yeah, cheesies for six p. Do you remember them? Or is that a fucking black show thing only? They were like we cheap watts. It's go 6p. ahead. Here, Lanky Larry bar. Oh, Lanky Larry's were fucking great. Astro belts. I love. Do you remember? Was it a Bruiser bar? You used was to get that? a. It was like a different coloured wham bar. Oh, weird. And it was, was it like orange? Um, yes. With like was it orange it had and like green bits, or something like. And it, it had like wee bits in it that looked like fucking tarmac. I yeah, I remember them. <laughs> they were great. See, I was always more of a crisp guy. So like, oh. Here, yes, Tudor crisps. Gammon and pineapple. The gammon and pineapple, roast beef and pickle, cream cheese and chive. The cream cheese and chive were 
among the dirtiest crisps ever made. You used to be able to get, wasn't it, Ulster Fry Tato? I remember them, yep. You got those. You could get, uh, they were like a weird, that was like a weird beanie, bacony flavour. Oh, why? Uh, you could get, um, here's Anthony coming through now. Oh, jeez. Marcus, head it down. Strike out. Oh, that would have been fucking great. We cheeky back here. Like. flick there. Here's Brill. Fuck up, Brill. Um, I'm not happy now. What do, you, what do you call it? You used to be able to get uh, Tudor spicy chicken. They were dirty wee crisps as well. Here's oh. the thing I hate with crisps now. But you're paying for the air in the bag. There's a lot of that. Do you not notice? It's There's literally... A lot like, to get your money's worth on crisps, you have to buy, like, one of the pounds. A pound bag, bags, yeah. But you don't share it at all, like... I mean, see the phrase family pack. All that means to me is I think about my family while I eat them. <laughs> like, it means nothing to me. Or lack of family. <laughs> Here's no fucking lack of family in my house, like. Fucking ten cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you're holding this together well here. He is, he's doing all right. Here he has a wee, oh, he has a wee chance here. A wee, a wee chance. Oh! Went see, now, it. did Went you go for, for a cross, sir? Yeah, that was a shot. See, that's, that's the... The game's fucking over because I, I told you it wouldn't save it. it. They've just never fixed that. You go to change the controls, it just never saves. And please don't write in. Please don't write in with a fucking three pager about how to make it save because it doesn't fucking, fucking save. People tell you it does. Oh, I have this way to make it save. And then when you actually speak to them, they go, Oh, it's on PlayStation. And you go, Well, you've wasted them a fucking time then, haven't you? <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a wee chance for us. There's Bruno. Bruno hates you. He hates you. Oh. Robert wants to know which member of which bands would you put together to form your ideal super group? Charlie from Busted's in there. Um, <laughs> an ideal super group? Fuck. Peak, peak Axel Rose, potentially. Although he's a nightmare, wasn't he? So like 90s Axel Rose? Yeah, like, 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 like you could be mine, sweet child of mine. Fucking welcome to the jungle, Axel Rose, right? Late eighties, early nineties. See you could be mine out of, out of Terminator Two. It's a tasty, we underrated fucking Guns N' Roses track. Dum 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 dum. You could be mine. Oh. You okay, Andrew? You haven't spoken about five. Um, <laughs> He's focused. There's a chance. This is it, Anthony. You oh, fucking oh. cunt! Oh. You fucking mother! You fucking mother. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't, 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 don't even think Anthony about it. Anthony wants it, like... I'm going to have to make a wee sub here. Christ. Yeah, so am I. Look at go. the suggested sub. Vote for Marcus. He's, he's, he's on for a corn, like, he loves it. Fuck, I forgot you're actually winning. You're conceding here, Andrew. I literally forgot you were winning. Yeah. Oh! oh save yes. it here, that. Save it here, that. Vote wants it. He's coming for you. How do I make the goalkeeper come out? Uh, why? And don't say, because I want him to come out, yeah. Ah, oh, the salmon. There he is, look at him. Rose, like a salmon. Big vote. <sighs> I, 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 I let that in. You've, uh, you've won in, you here. Come I on. know, come on, I know. know. Vegs Benedict. There he is, look at this. Vegs <laughs> Benedict. Shocking by the goalie. Oh, Blocked by his own it. defender. Lack he of communication. It. Lack of communication. Um... I totally did forget that you were winning there, by the way. I'm going, this is going to extra time. Here we go. Oh. We you me there? Oh. 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 There's a fucking Terrell Molassi. I see Terrell's. There's a fucking pack yeah, of crisps. Yeah, Andrew, go. Terrell's are crisps that you're paying for the air, for sure. I don't like them at all. Sensations used to be great as well. <sighs> but they're less, like, chilly, you know? Yeah, they're not as good as they were. Remember you got the white packets of the sensations and you got like sea salt and black pepper yes, and all. Yes, and there was one, the cheese and onion, four cheese and red onion. Oh, was yes. the dirtiest. Oh. That deserves a goal. That deserves a goal. Like, am I about to score a third goal from there's a anxiety, there's, a, there's, an, there's anxiety, you see here now. Here's Veg. He loves it. Look, he's up. Oh. I'm ball. By my own player. Didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell oh, no! No, it was a complete it. accident. Oh, I was I pressed the wrong button. I <laughs> pressed the wrong button. It was the, it was the machine. It was the machine. <laughs> the ref doesn't care. Oh, oh the, the ball. Knees. Jesus. Get um, in the knees. How do I? Oh, here we go. 
Andrew, if you save this, this Tantra build will be fucking <laughs> By the way, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, oh I Bruno Finanche. Oh, we love it, Bruno. Get into that Stratford end. Oh, fans fucking love it. Okay, we're You're half to... loving this too as a United man, aren't you? Yeah, the fucking the fans love bit. it. Look, Gotta go up. They're all up. They're all up to see the pen. Look at them. They love it. Can't get a ticket. Oh, he's not milking it. When was that? 83. There's still time for you to concede it again. So. To concede it again? <laughs> oh, for... Here's Vout. Vout's coming for you. Take that, you oh. little fucking Dutch. <laughs> is he Dutch, is he? I think he is, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, the arrogance. Oh, yes. oh no. Yeah. That's stinking. That's... How was that stinking? That was that perfectly... Was Mortal Kombat, that's how. <laughs> Offside, anyway. Fuck off, Riff. I'm actually sweating. To be fair, it is ball baking in here today. There's no two ways about it. Like, does it get like that in the studio, whoever? In there? No, we've air conditioning. No, hold on. That, that's a <laughs> sensitive subject. Oh, See, Andrew likes it turned up like a freezer, does he? No, I do. Oh, you do, I, right? I would have it on like 19 degrees, cool, like freezing. Oh, really? But even and Andrew like it a wee bit warmer. So, <gasps> oh! That was a chance, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I, Andrew, you have Look at this, Allison's up for this. Dave, come out, and, come out and stop this. Stop the madness. Get it in. I would love nothing more than to score when your keeper's out. Oh, it's, it's coming. Oh, who's that? Who is this? Casemiro. Oh. You have all the time in the world. No. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Mate, see if you score from this. This will be like fucking Troy Deeney. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a great pass. That was a great pass. Oh, this is it. Luke Shaw. Fake horse to chip. Get that's twice. That's <laughs> twice off the line. Oh, well here, what again? Here. Clearance was worth a goal on its own. Like can we can we can we get that? Can there? you see the clearance again? Can or I wonder it might let us if we we'll go to the the replays here in the highlights. It might. I'm good. It so it's close. Just, see, the reason why I lost, it's because of the it's because of the controls. Oh, here, mate, they have it. They have the clearance. Here it is. This is sensational for me to be sure. <laughs> Can we clip that? Look at this. They have, they have the goal decision and all. Great. Defense. Oh, he like, loves it. Look at that. Well. Super head. Look at balls actually inside his brain there. <laughs> That's unbelievable. You were? Never had it I know. That was hey. fucking great. Now he's managed by me. Well played, lads. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Thanks very much. Kieran, thank well, you. It's been a lot of car having you in, boys. Thank um, you. Anything you want to plug? Andrew has a special coming out this week. Uh, you can sign up to my podcast, Cork in the North. It's a very good podcast, and uh, Kieran will be back on it again soon. I will, and I will, yeah. We, uh, you know, we're plowing on and we're doing okay. <laughs> Got well, some interesting guests it? coming on soon. Just had uh, some of the Ulster enough. rugby players. Did you? And we had uh, Naomi Long. Um, we got a few. Decky's been on it. Kieran, you've been on it. I must get you back on I again. I will. Come back, come back on, on again. Yeah. yeah. So come listen to that Cork in the North. You can sign up to the Patreon. Need money. <laughs> I just want to offer if anyone wants to actually give me free Guinness. Yes. To get, <laughs> to get <laughs> a Guinness. Well, okay, Here, mate, that was a fucking screamer. You scored, by the way, with Salah. Do you know what? Before we go. Let's just enjoy that Mo Salah strike again because it was fucking great. Brilliant goal, wasn't it? You missed Look this, Dan. This. Look at this. First touch. Oh, Bingo. Oh, pure. Bingo. Absolute pure. Well, it's been a lot of crack having you on. Thanks for coming in. No worries. Good to see and, you. Thank uh, you. And we'll see you uh, again the next one. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, no.